Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here in Mavericks in Scottsdale, Arizona, and we're gonna check out modern racing games. There's a lot of good ones. I love Cruise and Blast, but there's probably a couple more here that I think you guys are gonna like. So let's go check it out. This is Mario Kart Arcade GP DX. Look at my face. <laughs> it's a really cool game. So what's interesting about this is it came out in 2016. It's a Bandai Namco game. And we all know that the Wii U version ended up being like ported over to the Nintendo Switch due to sales. So we really haven't had a new Mario Kart game in a long time. Oh yeah. <laughs> this brings a lot of elements that would kind of refresh the series a bit. It's not necessarily a new one that's available for consoles, but it feels fresh and new, even though it was made in 2016. All the cool elements you remember from Mario Kart are in here. If you're into arcade racers and you like Mario Kart, you gotta check this one out. Finished! The winner is Donkey Kong! That's right, baby. This is Bikes 3 by Raw Thrills. This game right here almost reminds me of if Cruise and Blast was on motorcycles. A lot of similar concepts. Double pump the gas in Cruise and Blast and your car will go up. Same here. Double pump the gas on the motorcycle or the throttle and you'll pop a wheelie. It's really cool. The thing is with Raw Thrills, a lot of their games that are racing games are very similar, but they're always super fun. It's high intensity, super fast, real chaotic, lots of interesting power-ups and things throughout it. I did maybe cheat a little bit because I paid the extra credits to get unlimited nitros. Snow! First place! First place. <laughs> So I don't know, did I really get first place or did I cheat? I don't know, you be the judge. Let's check out the next one. This is Asphalt Legends 9, the arcade version. This game has been around, the series of these has been around for a really long time actually. They have iOS and Android versions of the game, but this is the arcade version. What makes this so unique is it's got full motion. This thing is almost like an experience ride as much as it is a racing game. This game's got full motion, and unless you buckle your safety belt, it won't be enabled. I'll go McLaren. But it has some cool, unique elements that remind me of the Burnout series for consoles. You can hit this 360 button right here. When you hit it, your car will do a full 360, but if you're near an opponent, you can knock them out. Check this out. If I perform a 360, I can knock people out. <laughs> I knocked another guy out. This is so cool, dude. So it becomes really fun because there's these combat elements in the game with that 360 button. And of course, like all racing games, you have a nitro button as well. This game is really fun. I'd say this might actually be my favorite brand new arcade racer. Does it again. Does it again. First place. Well, that about wraps up this video, guys. This was Mavericks in Scottsdale, Arizona, and we got to check out a lot of cool modern racing games. Now, the one game they used to have here that they don't anymore is Cruise and Blast, and that's one of my favorite Raw Thrills games. I've checked it out in prior videos, and there's even a version for it on the Nintendo Switch. So if you like racing games, check that out. But more importantly, support businesses like this. It's keeping the arcade dream alive. It's maybe not the arcade dream we remember, but it's still pretty cool. And there are some games in there that believe it or not, you'd probably like as well. That's it for now, guys. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, and we will see you on the next one.